address that right now. Straighter! Yep. Not yep. roundhouse right here. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot is the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight motherfuckers. I do. Alright, I'm with you. I'm with you as long as as long as you're trying to fight the great that you're or the the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we are here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we are here. Best fight the best, if you ain't with the moto Just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest It ain't gonna work how you want it These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave So if you're here, you gotta die, I'm spitting straight facts These bitches crying cause they hate that The LDBC's the top topic, bitch, hate that Be the best to bring the truth to these fans So why you hate, I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands Come to the graveyard, click the link, get the bands Bury you alive, I'm prepared to Welcome to the graveyard, you get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard, click the link if you dare to, bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard, you get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So what I hear, um, when a fighter doesn't do good... In a specific fight and normally it's against a fucking bum or a fighter that shouldn't be in the ring with them and it doesn't go their way or it doesn't go they don't get the knockout or whatever the case may be or the fight is controversial or you know they go to a decision a majority decision it's not unanimous it's either not a knockout or it's not a unanimous decision the ring rust excuse comes into play let's go ahead and kill this shit right now number one before you're about to fight, you do fucking dozens and do hundreds of rounds of sparring. You spar with multiple opponents. You bring in fighters, some that are paid professional fighters, some that are your, like your friends that are professional, fr they're your friends. You bring in, you pay for this good sparring. You bring all this shit in here. You get well-rounded. You get all that shit. That's what you do. You bring in all kind of sparring. You're sitting there hitting the pads. You see it all the fucking time. Motherfuckers hitting the speed bag. Motherfuckers punching on the heart, the heavy bag. Motherfuckers doing the mitts with their trainer and all kinds of shit. You're doing all that. You ain't just sitting around like, hmm. Yeah, I got a fight in about two weeks. A month. Got a fight in about three months. So... Guess I'm gonna go ahead and get me some milk duds and bonbons and ice cream and shit. You know, I'll, I'll go to the gym next week. You know, I only need three weeks of training. That doesn't happen. You're training all the time, especially when you have a fight. When you got a fight locked in, they start that eight weeks, that eight weeks that everybody's talking about. Eight weeks in, niggas is hitting the, hitting the, uh, the, the gym hard. You're getting sparring. You're getting all that. It ain't no fucking ring rust. Do you know who had ring rust? Muhammad Ali had ring rust. Yeah, he had ring rust. Out of the ring for three years. Can't do nothing. Can't even spar. Yeah, because he can't pay sparring partners. Shit like that. That's ring rust. That's ring rust. Mike Tyson had ring rust. Mike Tyson was in prison. Got out of jail. Right into the ring. Fighting. Yeah, Mike Tyson had a ring rust. Don't tell me if you're sitting on your fucking couch, you're rich, all these guys got bread, whether you got millions or hundreds of thousands, you got bread. You're sitting on your couch, watching TV, you got bread. You know you got a fight coming up, but I'm not, yeah, I ain't fighting anybody. I'm not going to go to sparring, I ain't going to do shit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate this money. I'm going to calculate this, I got to pay this sparring partner five G's. 
So 10 G's, you know, I got I got my homie coming in. I really don't got to pay him much because that's my homie. He a pure professional boxer and shit. He got a name name, so we can't record this sparring. But, you know what I'm saying, he's my homie coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and fight him. Maybe I got to give him a couple of racks, but it's nothing serious. Then I got these other guys. I got to pay them. I got to pay pay them. So now that's a couple of racks right there, you know. And then, you know, so, you know, I'm going to time this. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to do my sparring um, the week before the week of the fight. So two weeks out. The week before the week of the fight, because the week of the fight, I ain't going to do nothing but mitts. You know, I'm going to just sit there, do my shadow box in front of the camera so everybody can see me, my open workouts. You know, but the week before that, all seven days, I'm going to I'm do sparring all seven days. That's not how it works. <laughs> that is not how it works. You do sparring all through that motherfucker. You're running, you're hitting the mitts, you're hitting the bag, you're hitting the speed bag, you're training, you're working out, you're doing all that shit, you're eating right, everything, you die, the whole shit. The whole shit. And then some niggas do it year round, aka Mr. Gary Russell. Year round, the niggas always in shape. Year round, Floyd Mayweather, always in shape when he was fighting. Nigga lead a club and run five miles. And then at the end of the five miles, he goes straight to the gym and opens his, opens his own gym and works out. At 4 o'clock in the fucking morning. 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. He lives the lifestyle. Terrence Crawford lives the lifestyle. You do not have ring rust. Miss me. The Charlos. Y'all niggas said y'all live the lifestyle. You do not have ring rust. You live the lifestyle. You have a bad night. That's what you have. You have a bad night. Y'all have bad nights. Fighters that live the lifestyle. That's all you do. You have bad nights. Elite level fighters, Errol Spence, you don't have ring rust. You have bad nights. But Errol Spence is a fighter who should have ring rust. You should. You had a fucking a life-changing accident. You could have died. You got thrown out of your motherfucking car go, uh, going 100 plus miles per hour and all you got was a chipped tooth. Nigga, you should have died. You should have got broken bones. You didn't get no broken bones. You got a chipped fucking tooth. You should have ring rust, my nigga. But you don't. You don't. You didn't see anybody. Oh, man, you don't ring. No. Miss me with the ring rust excuse. Miss me. You are a professional fighter. I don't see anybody else. Oh, yeah, you know. Man, the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets would have beat Milwaukee, but you know. They had court rust. Brooklyn had court rust. So, you know, they 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 would have beat Milwaukee. They Listen, Brooklyn would have beat them. They'd be going right now to the conference finals. Um, but they have they had court rust. Phoenix Suns. Listen, man, the Phoenix Suns got court rust. Court rust, bro. They listen, bro. They swept that team. They swept them. And now, you know, now, now winner, if they lose, it's because they had court rust. They get the fuck out of my face, bro. That is not an excuse. Ring rust. Is not an excuse. Ring rust means you have time to rust. You, you've been out of the ring for three, four, five years. Bernard Hopkins coming back right now would have ring rust. Oscar De La Hoya is going to have ring rust. If Larry Holmes decided to fight right now, he'd have ring rust. Why? Because he's been rusting. Keith Thurman has ring dust. You don't have ring rust. You have ring dust. Manny Pacquiao has ring dust. You don't have ring rust. You need someone to dust you off. You haven't been out of the ring long enough to get rust. You have, you've been out of the ring long enough to get dust. So you do not have ring rust. You have ring dust. Fucking miss me. You do all the sparring, all the training, you eating all right, you doing all this shit, but all of a sudden, now you have a bad night, and all of a sudden, it's because of ring rust. Get the fuck out of my face. If Floyd Mayweather was to fight Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, he would have ring rust. Because he's fighting teriyaki and fucking sneezy uh, cp3 and and joke and juke and luke and doc and doc and he's fighting all these motherfuckers fucking bums conor mcgregor bums niggas who've never fought before in their fucking life bums 
if he was to fight an elite, which he could because he's the WBC Emeritorious Champion, he can come back and fight Errol Spence right now. Right now. He can come back and fight Errol Spence next. That is ring rust. That's ring rust. He's been out of the ring long enough to get rusty. Rusty. And even that, still I question it because you got in the ring. So that I question that like, as, hey man, that's more so a ring dust. Heavy dust. The dust is thicker. But it ain't, and it's not long enough for rust because you just fought Sneezy Paul. So miss me with the ring rust excuse. Jamal Charlo did not have ring rust. He did not. These niggas only fight once a year anyway. You had ring dust. I wouldn't even say you had ring dust because you're supposed to be living a fighter's lifestyle. I don't see Jamal Charlo out here getting drunk and, and, and oh man, he's drunk and fat and, and blah, blah, blah. And you miss weight anyway. Did you come back and correct it? Yes, you did. So you let me let me let me fix that. You didn't miss weight. You missed it on the first try. You made it on the second. So you didn't miss weight. Yeah, it, it was the first try that you fucked up. But you're supposed to be living a fighter's lifestyle. You've been doing it since you were six. Miss me with the ring rust excuse. Miss me. Miss me. You had no fighter has been out of the ring long enough. Joe Calzaghe would have ring rust. Andre Ward, if he came back to fight Canelo Alvarez, would have ring rust. Adonis Stevenson, if he came back to fight somebody, he'd have ring rust. Roy Jones would have ring rust. Lennox Lewis would have ring rust. All these fighters who don't fight, but once a fucking year anyway, come, oh, well, I haven't fought in two years. Well, you got ring dust. You do not have ring rust. Fuck out of here with that excuse. BFTB, shout out to the LDBC, and I'm out.